At Santa Ana Taguig, beside the famous Santa Ana Church, there is the park called Manuel El Quezon Park, where a bronze statue of Manuel El Quezon was built. Manuel El Quezon's statue is built for remembering him as our president and also as our Ama ng Wikang Pambansa. And during the Buwan ng Wika, this is the place where schools gathered and celebrate the Buwan ng Wika. Also, this park was built for remembering the veterans of World War II. The St. Anne Parish Church, also known as Santa Ana Church, is located at Barangay Santa Ana, Taguig. It is situated next to the Taguig River and across Plaza Quezon, where the statue of the late President Manuel L. Quezon was erected when he was still serving as the President of the Republic of the Philippines. St. Anne is the patroness of the church. In 1571, the Spaniards subjugated mainland Luzon, including Taguig, through the Legazpi expedition. Between the years 1582 and 1583, Taguig became part of the Encomenda del Tondo and was under the headship of an alcalde mayor, Captain Vergara. Taguig was eventually established as a separate town in 1587 and was declared a parish with St. Anne as its chosen patroness. Agustinian friars, Father Diego Alvarez and his assistant, Father Diego de Avilia, were assigned to begin religious activities in Taguig. The first concentrate church for use of the faithful was built by Fray Hernando Guerrero in 1609. However, the 1645 Luzon earthquake caused it considerable damage. In 1848, Fray Andres Diaz began the construction of the new church complex. This too, unfortunately, was destroyed by the tremor of 1882. To continue administering to the spiritual needs of the faithful, a makeshift church was used until the construction of a permanent one. Construction of the present church started during the term of Fray Patricio Martin in 1883. He, however, did not see its completion due to his early demise. His successor, Fray Guillermo Diaz, continued with the project and saw its eventual completion. During the early American period, secular priests of the Archdiocese of Manila succeeded the Augustinian friars in Taguig. The first of this was Father Silvino Labo of Tepas. 
he was followed by Father Vicente Estacio of Tipas, who oversaw the installation of the church Sawali ceiling. Father Gerdo Maximo completed the, the rehabilitation of the church. More improvements in the edifice were undertaken by the Agurio Huta and, Mas and Masignor Emmanuel Sunga in preparation for the parish for 100th anniversary in 1987. The current parish priest of St. Anne Parish Church is Reverend Father Renier Noel and Lorca. The church houses the Museo de Santa Ana, which contains religious relics and repository of artifacts detailing the rich religious culture and history of Taguig since 1857. On July 26 of each year, the St. Anne Parish Church, along with the city government, celebrates Santa Ana Banak Taguig River Festival, which is fluvial parade in honor of the town patroness St. Anne. The trails and excitement of the fishers are replayed each year by the Pasubo, where fluvial parade participants in colorful boats and spectators by the riverbanks. Welcome to Simborio. Standing as a centerpiece of the Santa Ana Catholic Cemetery is the Simborio, located in Barangay Tuktukan. It was constructed through Filipino labor and supervised by Spanish priors in the year 1700s. The dome is made of tiles and the walls are made of stones. The Simborio is an impressive elevated mortuary chapel reached by a wide flaring staircase and drained by an elegant balustrade. Crowning it all is a perfect cupola or dome measuring 12 meters in diameter. But for all its architectural fi fineness, the round structure's history is murky. Time has not been kind to the Simborio. Repairs to the, to the damaged sections made in 1980 and 1993 can be found at the entrance and the balustrade and various parts of the circular wall.